So this is just like a little demo of the newest version of Legion working on Apex Season 4. Go ahead and open it up. When you first open up Legion, it'll have all of these settings ticked, which will basically show you all of those different asset types when you load it up, because it's not a command line anymore, it's an interface. Um, the interface pretty much works the same as the sound tool beta that we released, um, but they're now combined, so this will also work with the sound files um, and the RPAC files, so they're, they're just, it's just one tool. Um, so I'm actually just gonna load models for a moment. So if we open up common.rpac, that's where most of the models are, and the weapons, um, same as usual, so you can search for an asset. Um, click on it, if you press E, it'll just export the um, model or whatever asset it is right to the export and files directory next to the program. So export a bunch of them. We can do export all from this list and then we'll export them all. Um, it is quite a bit faster than it was uh, as a command line application because it is now multi-threaded. Multi um, so it should be pretty snappy uh, when you're going to export assets. Um, but if you don't have a fast computer or you don't have a lot of disk space left, there's a new feature um, which allows you to preview the model. So if you click on a model and list and press P, it'll open up the model preview window, which is new. Um, it'll allow you to view the joints and the mesh itself. Um, you can move them around, zoom in and out. Uh, the controls are similar to Autodesk Maya. Um, and you can use this you can change and instantly preview the model without having to export anything to the disk. It's all in memory. Um, you can go through, it's pretty snappy, so you can pretty much just quickly find a model you want to export um, and kind of go from there. So let's find something here. Um, press E to export that. Open up Maya. Drag on the model. And there are her textures and everything exported just like before. It's the models are exactly the same as the command line, so nothing nothing has really changed um, in terms of uh, that. Um, close that. So new feature um, added in this was the ability to export individual materials. So usually when you export a model, there's one material assigned to it um, at a time. It's basically, it's usually the first one if there's like a set. So that's usually the one you see most commonly, but um, a lot of times you guys want to export the um, individual like separate colors for a skin. So um, you can now do that. So if we go to Bangalore, so for instance, these, this is the epic set. I'm actually just going to export G images just for testing. Um, so we're going to export these versions of the skin. So these are just color variants. Um, they usually um, have the suffix of like a 102 or whatever. So we'll just export those. So that's going to convert them to PNG. And those have been exported. So that's a new directory under the materials directory. So if I bring that up, um, this is the first version of the skin. And if I go in here, this is 02. So this is the green variant of the skin. Um, so it basically just allows you to export those by name and material. So the UVs already line up with the model, so you can just apply that material instead of the default one, and that will show up. Uh, there, so standard export format, same as the command line, same model export formats as the command line. Um, if we go to animations, so we're common again. So animations are listed as their animation set, which is how it worked in the command line application as well. So if we go to Revenant, all his animations are under one set. So this is his full body. There's 164 different animations for that body. So if you press to export on that, that'll export all the animations in the same directory, just like the command line application um, would do when you export animations. Um, images are again, the same as before, so they don't have names because they don't have names in the file. They're referenced via this hash. Um, only the materials and like certain UI stuff have names and they'll like reference these image assets, but this will allow you to export just like individual textures if you wanted to do like a texture dump or something. 
do that and export it and they'll go into the images folder um, whatever format that you decided to export all of the image export settings apply for like if you're exporting a model or material or image it'll pick whatever format you have selected here um, so that's pretty much it it's pretty much the same as uh, the command line version was um, I won't be releasing this update until we reach uh, the new donation um, threshold. This did take quite a lot of time to support. Um, I don't have a lot of it right now. So once we hit that, I will release this version um, and probably release a couple bug fix updates after that um, for support. This should support pretty much all of the new updates that they released for Apex because we basically um, rewrote the entire RPAC uh, load code to support uh, the patches and the way that they're supported by the game. So yeah, um, keep an eye on ModMe and my Twitter for more information and uh, a release link once that's ready.